Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers draft Ed Oliver with the fifth overall pick. Oliver, defensive tackle out of Houston, six foot two, 287 pounds, 36 inch vertical jump, 32 bench press reps, and a 120 inch broad jump all at the combine. And then on his pro day, he actually ran a 4.73 40 yard dash. Freak freak athlete okay if you ask any draft analysis guy what's the first thing that you think of whenever you think about ed oliver first thing they're going to say is this guy is just an insane athlete i have had some people um say that you know well we're not going to see this kind of athleticism probably for a very long time i kind of disagree with that especially with the current evolutionary trend that's going on with these college athletes specifically at the defensive line it seems like these guys are just getting more and more insanely fast and insanely strong and athletic and I feel that Ed Oliver is just another example of that evolution he could easily play defensive and I've talked about that before with a guy like Quinn and Williams um obviously he plays the three technique defensive tackle Ed Oliver does but I feel he could go to the five or six technique if he needed to be a three four defensive end in this Buccaneers defense I have had some people write I've seen online and whatnot that says you know well maybe they should move him out to outside linebacker or maybe they should move him to inside linebacker I don't think that that change needs to happen at all I think you can keep him on the defensive line and he can still be insanely insanely productive you know be a defensive end be a defensive tackle wherever he is along that line I think that Ed Oliver would do a pretty good job in whatever role that you give him again explosive in all that he does from his workouts all the way to his pass rushing ability you know much like guys like Quinn and Williams and Gerald McCoy insane quick first step he is just lightning fast obviously he ran a 4.73 40 yard dash as a defensive tackle who weighs 287 pounds so he's pretty darn fast in my opinion just insanely good pass rushing ability insanely good at getting past um you know kind of slower offensive linemen I have had some people you know write you know well well, there's concerns about his lack of size and this is overall lack of height as well again those narratives I think are slowly being chipped away at especially at the defensive line position with guys like Aaron Donald and I know that that type of situation might not happen again for a very long time but I still think that with the current evolution of these young um, defensive linemen I feel that you know all lack of size narrative is just slowly going to go away a couple of concerns that do come with a guy like Ed Oliver is that he hasn't been able to finish um, those explosive bursts and that quick ability um, with sack totals obviously the most amount of sacks that he got in a single year with uh, being three years with Houston was five and a half sacks so that does need to improve and I feel with the right type of coaching cough cough Casey Rogers and Todd Bowles on the Buccaneers defensive staff I feel that you can get that kind of production up very easily also he does struggle against double teams and bigger offensive linemen um, you know I do I could potentially see that being a problem in the NFL I'm not too particularly worried about it because again you know a lot of people could say the same thing about Gerald McCoy both Ed Oliver uh, Quinn and Williams and I think Gerald McCoy are all kind of similar obviously Ed Oliver definitely doesn't have the weight that both Gerald McCoy and Quinn and Williams have but I feel that all three of those guys um, can still you know beat double teams if they need to and can still do pretty well against bigger offensive linemen because for me it's all about speed you know if you can get by him quickly um, then you you should be fine in terms of your overall pass rushing ability his obvious role is a three technique defensive tackle I still think he could play three four defensive end as well but a lot of people have been mocking him as a three technique defensive tackle and you know obviously with the rumors of Gerald McCoy might be traded Ed Oliver would be a very very good fit he's obviously um a lot of Bucks fans favorites right now I know specifically Justin Pulowski of the Bucks mob you know shout out to him he is Justin Pulowski's favorite draft prospect he's slowly becoming one of my favorite draft prospects and I'm sure he's a lot of your guys favorite draft prospects as well I think he he has an insane amount of potential. I think he could easily be a replacement for a guy like Gerald McCoy, or even if you decide to keep a guy like Gerald McCoy, he could just be phenomenal on that defensive line, period. You know, a, a lineup of Vita Vea, Gerald McCoy, Ed Oliver, and say like Jason Pierre Paul, that's insane. That's like, that is ludicrous talent on that defensive line, okay? And it's definitely still pretty possible, all things considered, just depending on how the cap situation goes. Um, I don't think the Buccaneers can trade down 
in select Ed Oliver anymore. I did think that, you know, at the start of this entire draft prospect, back when my top two favorite guys were Ed Oliver and Jonah Williams. Now it's kind of morphed into my top two favorite guys right now are Quinn and Williams and Ed Oliver. And I feel that if Quinn and Williams is not on the board, you might have to go with either Ed Oliver or Devin White. Um, I feel like you can't trade back in that situation because I don't think that Ed Oliver or Devin White um, can get past picks number like six and seven, let's say, because I think that the Giants, they would for sure pick up a guy like Devin White or Ed Oliver um, 100%. So I feel if you want to take one of those guys, you have to take them at pick number five. I'm kind of, you know, I would honestly say I would give the edge to a guy like Ed Oliver over a guy like Devin White. Like, I love Devin White. He's a freak athlete 100% at the linebacker position, but Ed Oliver, he's a freak athlete at the defensive line position. And I feel that is just insanely valuable, you know, because whenever you have a really good pass rush the rest of the defense just works beautifully beautifully you know the cornerbacks play better the linebackers play better everybody plays better whenever you're pressuring the quarterback and forcing them to make bad decisions and again I feel that Oliver he would be a phenomenal phenomenal pick you know right now I'm loving him and Quinn Williams I would love you know both of them to be Tampa Bay Buccaneers but guys let me know what you think about this entire situation down in the comment section below what do you think about Ed Oliver do you think he's worthy of the fifth overall pick me personally I would say absolutely um if, if Quinn Williams is not on the board let's say the you know the draft goes Kyle uh, Kyler Murray number one let's say number two is Nick Bosa number three probably Josh Allen then number four Quinn and Williams maybe you may get Oliver number five guys like I have that much confidence in his just raw athleticism and raw pass rushing ability ability um he could be insanely 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 good guys I wouldn't move him to linebacker or anything like that keep him a defensive tackle you know have him be probably the next uh, successor to a guy like Gerald McCoy and just roll with it you know because I think that he's that good of an athlete and he's that good of a pass rusher but again let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video hope you all enjoyed next draft prospect I probably will be talking about it honestly might be Greedy Williams I think that's a good bet probably being Greedy Williams because I've, I've been looking into him, a, into him a lot and I'm actually very impressed so yeah probably Greedy Williams is next but we'll just have to wait and see but anyway thanks guys for watching and until next time I'll see you in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always goodbye for now guys and go Bucks.